I figured I'd do a much more laid back and relaxed kind of video for this week where I'm literally just drawing whatever in my sketchbook since I've been finding it really hard to just sit down and have motivation to do anything art related recently. I've also been enjoying using a lot of real time footage in the past few studio vlogs I've made, so I went ahead and just kept this entire video being real time instead of sped up. So if you guys just want to have this as some kind of background video while you draw along or work on chores or just do something else, this is a really good video for that. I mentioned a while back that the whole pandemic situation was really kind of kicking my butt mentally when it came to feeling any kind of productive when it comes to making art, but then a while ago I was really glad to get out of that funk and I was drawing more and just making more art as a whole, but the past month or so I've really lost that motivation I guess to make art for now. I know it's only a temporary thing, but I have hardly, hardly been drawing anything, hence the lack of videos for the past couple of weeks, so I really had to push myself to sit down and actually make something in my sketchbook because I really wanted to put out a video this week. More than anything, I think I really just haven't had any motivation to make art, more so than having art block or anything, but I'm really glad I actually sat down and made this video because I ended up filling out a lot more sketchbook pages than I thought I would. After finishing this little sketchbook session, I'm actually halfway done with this sketchbook, so that's really exciting because, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of working on this size of sketchbook paper. This is the sketchbook that I bound myself a while back, and it has the Canson XL watercolor paper inside, which I actually really like using for mixed media for pretty much everything except alcohol markers, since alcohol markers as a whole just don't do great on watercolor paper because the paper itself absorbs a lot more ink than normal, so it's, especially with alcohol markers being so expensive, it's not really a good idea to use alcohol markers on watercolor paper. But as far as the paper goes, the small size of the sketchbook feels kind of restricting, which is pretty controversial with how I felt about my last sketchbook I was working in, which was closer to a standard letter size. I don't remember the exact dimensions of it, but it was a Strathmore sketchbook and the paper was really big. And with that sketchbook, I felt like the larger paper size was way too big for me, so I'm definitely still trying to find out what paper and size of sketchbook is the so-called perfect sketchbook for me because I feel like my needs and wants are just constantly changing over time when it comes to using a sketchbook and just like different kinds of paper and different kinds of mediums, so it's really hard for me to be satisfied with both the size and type of paper in a sketchbook throughout the entire time of me working on said sketchbook. I always find myself going back and forth on what paper size I prefer to work on. More often than not, when I'm working on larger paper, I find myself wanting to work with smaller paper, and then the situation can be the complete opposite, where I want to work with larger paper when I have smaller paper. So as a whole, that's a little chaotic. I also haven't 100% found a certain brand of paper that I absolutely love. There are definitely some types of paper that I really like using for different things, but I tend to use mixed media, so finding a paper that works well consistently with several different mediums can be a little tricky. Like I said earlier, I use very different mediums, so watercolors work really well with watercolor paper, whereas alcohol markers do not work well with watercolor paper, so I don't ever expect to find like a absolutely perfect paper that works perfectly for like water based markers, watercolors, alcohol markers, acrylics, something like that, but it's really nice, especially like finding a medium that holds really well with watercolors and doing well with water-based pens and inks and pretty much just a different variety of things. I honestly pretty much will never expect a paper to hold well with watercolors and alcohol-based markers because they're on very far ends of the spectrum as far as like paper goes, so as far as that, don't expect that to line up, but finding a paper especially that like can handle watercolors, but like with my Tombow pens for example, a lot of papers pill really bad when you start layering the Tombow pens. Like finding a paper that works really well for those is nice because I love using my Tombow pens so much. But if you're ever wondering what my favorite sketchbook is, because I actually do get asked that a good amount, I actually have no idea <laughs> for the longest time, especially when I was in high school. I just stuck with the same papers over and over again. I know that for a while I was on like a kick of using, I think it's like the Strathmore sketch paper, which is the one with the yellow cover. I used that for the longest time. And then I switched to the Canson XL mixed media paper and I used that over and over again for sketchbooks, which both of these were partially because they're pretty cheap and back then I didn't have a lot of money. But on top of that, they worked for me at the time and branching out and trying different papers of sketchbooks can be pretty overwhelming because there's just so many brands, there's so many kinds, there's spiral sketchbooks, there's bound sketchbooks. There's just a lot to it. And some sketchbooks can get really expensive. So like I completely understand if you stick with the cheap stuff because honestly it works. 
I definitely want to try a bunch of different papers right now and I actually have like several sketchbooks that I haven't even touched yet that I'm waiting to finish other sketchbooks before I start those ones where I'm really excited to see what I think of the paper because I've heard lots of good things about them or it's something I've been wanting to try for a while so I'll get around to those eventually but as a whole hopefully in the future I will have a much better opinion and favoring over a certain sketchbook so then I can share that with you guys. As far as the art goes for what I was drawing in this video, like I mentioned earlier, I really just sat down and started drawing, so I didn't have any kind of plan or idea as to what I was drawing until I was pretty much doing it. For the most part, I used my Tombow water-based pens for a good portion of the art I made since they're a really nice and easy way to make a colorful spread in my sketchbook. I also absolutely love these pens. I use them so much, I have such a nice color selection of them. They're really pretty pens, they last a really long time, and uh, it's really fun to use. I have gotten asked a lot how I make, I guess, interesting spreads in my sketchbook, and honestly, my main goal when filling a sketchbook page is just utilizing as much space as I can and just kind of cramming elements in. I don't necessarily go into the mindset of wanting the artwork or the sketchbook page to look pretty or like good finished artwork because it's just a sketchbook, and especially recently when I haven't had a ton of motivation to art, I've been really pushing myself to take off that pressure of needing my sketchbook work to look nice and like polished and finished. So I'm very happy that I have like that more healthy, I guess, mindset when it comes to working in my sketchbook where I just want to make art. That is the main goal. It doesn't have to look pretty, it doesn't have to look good, but of course I want it to, like that's a bonus when it does, but like if it turns out not looking good, it's just a sketchbook, it's not the end of the world. The biggest purpose in working in a sketchbook is just to be experimenting and learning and creating and at least putting some kind of art out there. So pretty much just draw whatever I want and then go back in after the fact and add some kind of other doodles or background elements to fill up the rest of the page to make them look more full and colorful. Personally for me, I find it really encouraging to look through a sketchbook that I'm currently working in to get inspiration in terms of what to finish the sketchbook with. So if like, for example, with the sketchbook, I'm halfway done with it. When I don't know what to draw, sometimes I just flip through what I've already done in that sketchbook. And if it's like really full pages, if it's really colorful, it makes me want to make stuff like that because I really like looking at my sketchbook and seeing like a lot of color on the page, a lot of stuff going on on the page, it's really full, like there's a lot of eye-catching stuff. Of course, like it doesn't have to be pretty art, but when it is, like that's a bonus. It makes me happy to look at art that I am proud of. But personally, like when it comes to me filling sketchbooks, for a while I was definitely like actively trying to make my sketchbooks look full and like make the pages look full but now it's just kind of like a second nature thing which is really nice because i really like utilizing as much of the white space as i can you definitely don't have to when it comes to working in a sketchbook there's no right or wrong way to work in a sketchbook um this is just how i prefer doing it and i really like it like this because it's really full there's a lot of art inside especially as far as like colors go having it be colorful and like packed full of stuff like i said it just makes me excited to make more art so I really like looking through my old sketchbooks when I don't know what to draw and just seeing what I've made before because it's really nice that my old art inspires me. I also ended up drawing a lot of original art for this video and like pretty much the only thing that was not original like characters or just original art as a whole was the last page which I drew some spirited away characters and that's very different from what I normally do in case you've been following my artwork for a while. I like drawing fan art. Drawing fan art makes me really happy. I'm trying to branch out a little bit especially right now because um, as of the time of recording this voiceover it's the 24th of February and that means that it's almost March and that means that I need to make a new Patreon artwork for March which I would like to have done preferably today. I haven't even started. I have no idea what I'm going to draw for March's Patreon artwork, but if all goes well, I will plan it out and make the illustration today. Wish me luck because I got some other stuff I need to do today, but I was kind of like brainstorming what to draw, I guess, subconsciously. I was like, I need to draw original art because for my past two months of Patreon, I've done fan art and I definitely don't want to make that like a consistent thing, even though 
I feel like a lot of you guys expect fan art from me because I draw a ton of fan art and there's nothing wrong with that. I really like drawing fan art, which is why I do it. But like for Patreon, especially where people are like month to month paying for it, I don't want to constantly be throwing fan art at you guys because I'm sure not all of you are interested in the things I draw fan art of. So I'm trying to do some kind of original artwork for my March Patreon. So that's why I kind of strayed away from doing a whole lot of fan art in this because I was like, wow, I really need to work on drawing some, some original concept something that I am happy with so I guess more than anything this was kind of my brainstorm session for that so we'll see how that goes hopefully it'll go well honestly like the main thing that I want to be drawing right now is plants because I've gotten really really into plants if you watch my studio vlogs um, you probably know this but it's kind of behind the scenes it has not spiraled out of control but like we're getting there a couple weeks ago, I went to a grocery store and I found a Monstera Deliciosa and I picked that up and then I picked up a lot more plants after that. I thought I had like a black thumb and I was just a plant killer, but as it turns out, you get yourself a moisture meter that tells you how wet the soil is and everything is wonderful. I genuinely have over like 20 houseplants. I think I have like 23 and I have purchased all but like one of those over the past like month and a half, two months, something like that. I'm really into plants right now, guys. Like I am genuinely watching more plant videos on YouTube than I am watching art videos, which is really funny, but it's been really nice. I unlocked a new hobby, which is pretty cool. And plants are amazing. The air quality in my apartment must be fantastic. I'm very grateful to have south facing windows because we only have three windows in our apartment, which is a decent amount, but like, I don't have any plants in our bedroom because pretty much anywhere where I could put plants in the bedroom, the cats could get to, and Fiora really likes the concept of eating plants, which is not okay because one, most of my plants are not safe for cats, which of course I keep those ones like well out of reach of the cats, and two, the ones that are safe for cats, I really don't want her eating them <laughs> because I want them to thrive and survive, but she has other plans. So it's been kind of like a weird situation of buying a bunch of plants and then figuring out where I can possibly store them in the apartment. But man, plants are so much fun. Eventually I'll do a little plant tour here on YouTube, probably in like a studio vlog or something like that. This is still going to be an art channel. It's not going to be a plant channel unless but I've gotten so into house plants, guys. They're so much fun, they're so pretty, they brighten up a space, my air quality is amazing. <laughs> and it's just really fun as a whole. So pretty much uh, anytime I am using any kind of brain power, all my brain is thinking of is plants. So I really wanna draw plants. Um, I've done it a couple times. Pretty much I draw flowers most of the time because I really like flowers, but ironically, I don't like flowering house plants. Like, orchids don't interest me at all. For the time being, this might change. Peace lilies don't interest me at all. Like, I don't know. Flowering houseplants that normally flower. There are some things, like, I have a couple of houseplants that I did not know they even flowered until I saw them at a nursery flowering, which is pretty cool. I guess it's just very specific situational thing where they flower. I don't know. I'm still learning every single day, but it's been really fun. I really like plants. This turned into a tangent on plants. Um, this is fine. I'll do a plant tour eventually. I appreciate when you guys ask for it because it's really cute. Um, I hope you guys are excited about it as I am because the only reason that I have not done it so far is because I keep buying houseplants. So I'm afraid I'll like do a houseplant tour and then I'll have like 10 more in a couple weeks and be like, dang, those could have been included in the houseplant tour. This is my life now. I have so many houseplants. I'm running out of space to put my houseplants. So I'm really gonna have to slow down on the whole buying houseplants thing, but that'll be really nice for my wallet because it gets expensive. <laughs> but anyways, back to the art side of things. This was actually the most I had drawn in my sketchbook probably since like December maybe? I really haven't filled that many spreads or like anything in this sketchbook. Like flipping back through the past several pages in this sketchbook, I probably fill a page and not like a spread, like a single page once every week or two, which is kind of sad to look at. So like I said, it was really nice to just sit down. And even though I was, I was definitely pushing myself to do this for a video, I'm very grateful I did because I really just needed to sit down and make some kind of art because I really haven't been doing that a whole lot lately. And I would like to change that. I went kind of recently on like a digital art binge, which was nice because I was able to make a bunch of sticker designs that I'll have in my shop eventually. But 
Traditional art is my baby and it's definitely what I prefer doing and what makes me the happiest so it's really nice to just sit down and actually do some traditional art. And that is everything that I ended up making in this little sketchbook session. I definitely want to do more like casual laid back sketchbook videos like this. It was really low pressure, which is really nice because personally for me, I find it fairly high pressure normally to record myself while I'm sketching just because it like weirdly adds this like extra layer of pressure of like, oh God, I'm sketching and I'm on camera versus I don't really feel that when I'm like painting on camera because I already have kind of like something laid out as to what I'm doing, but it was a very casual video of just filling up sketchbook pages and drawing whatever I wanted to draw, and if it turned out looking bad, it wasn't a big deal. So if you guys liked this kind of video, let me know. If you guys like the real time, let me know, or if you prefer sped up, let me know, because I'm pretty much just playing around with whatever right now, and we're just doing what we're doing. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.